Hello, everyone. We are back with some more until then. Um, so, yeah, last time we played this, a lot of stuff happened. Um, a lot of stuff that I was afraid was going to happen happened, um, especially related to Kathy. Like, uh, I'm still upset, but now we're getting down to like what, like what timeline is real. <laughs> it's like, I have a feeling I know what timeline is real, but yeah, again, like there's a whole lot of time shifting going on. So rather than trying to explain it, we're just going to hop back into the story because yeah, like I don't, there's, there's some weird things happening. I'm not sure how to interpret it yet. Okay. Alright, so, yeah, this looks familiar. Dang it, Kath. You didn't have to pull me into this. Hey, exam results are out. Can't wait to see which ones I flopped. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Nah, that's just a fluke. Wait. What was that? Oh, the piano club. This is stupid, but... Maybe if I just imagine it. Oh, wait, I usually use controller for this. Oops. There we go. Oh, he looks so tired. Wrong. notes. They're lost in this familiar memory. I have to remember. <laughs> e Come on, Mark. Remember. She's such a lovely, talented kid. Do you like it? No 
focus, concentrate. Oh, it's so weird Rydell's here instead of Kathy. Well, he's like more present in general compared to last time. Sorry, I just had to. You better not show that to anyone. Hey, nothing wrong with some air piano in the morning. I mean it. It may look a bit silly, but art requires dedication. I admire that. Huh, I guess you're right. Your exam scores are out? Oh. Yep. How'd you do? Eh. Eh? Eh. What about you? <laughs> Haven't checked yet. I was too entranced by your air piano skills. Hey, I didn't get to practice this morning. Still in a slump, are ya? Yeah. I can't seem to figure out what's wrong. Well, what are you trying to do exactly? What's your goal? Uh, it's complicated. I feel close to mom. I guess, but I'm not really sure. Well, sounds like you miss her, huh? When is she coming home? I don't... I don't know. What about you? What's your goal? I want to succeed, I guess. I want to make something I can be proud of. I just don't know how. That's always the hard part, isn't it? Yeah, that's for sure. The start and the end makes sense, but the middle? Yeah. It's all about how to get from point A to point B. All I'm feeling right now is pointless. Looks like we both got our work cut out for us, huh? You can say that again. Say what again? Hey, what's this? What the heck is this? What were you doing? Drop it. Oh, have you know Mark is a very dedicated and talented air pianist. Oh, ho. I think his posture leaves something to be desired. If you want, you can keep it. With pleasure. Great. Now we're even, nose picker. Oh, what? Who's a nose picker? Mm. Rydell. Yeah, that's me. My new title. Huh, I didn't get the memo. Who caught him? M me Yesterday. It was break time when he caught me doing the act right here. You should have seen it. I can already imagine it. Shh, you guys are too loud this early in the morning. You are. I can't do this anymore. Kath, in all seriousness, I hate to break it to you, but... Oh. Whoa. This stupid plan actually worked. Shh, keep it down. Don't scare her off already. Oh. So, why are we even here? Moral support? No. You're the backup. What? Just what are you trying to do? Win her heart before anyone else? Duh. How are you going to do that? I'm gonna be suave, smooth, and cool, obviously. Already impossible. Before you know it, we'll be holding hands under the moonlight. Uh-huh. Initiate Project New Crush. Great. Hey there. Kate, right? Eh, is that short for Catherine? Because that would be such a funny coincidence. Because my name's Kathy. Short for Catherine Joyce. Uh, being a new student sure is hard, huh? I know that feeling, my friend. You'll get used to it for sure. Why don't I show you around? This is a disaster. I can't tear my eyes away. 
Oh, welcome to Liamson Integrated School. Class 9 Pearl. It must be so scary. If you don't stop talking, I'll show you just how scared I am. Ah, I... I see. So, when are you holding hands under the moonlight? Shut your mouth. In fact, why don't you be a good backup and give it a shot? I have to check my exam scores. I can nap now, right? Your turn! Uh... But I never agreed. Uh, hi. Sorry about that commotion. That was my best friend who's too amiable. Uh... We don't mean to pressure you or anything. Just wanted to say welcome. That's all. Wait. Yeah? Did someone tell you? Tell me what? No. No one told us anything? Okay. Uh, okay. We just hope you and your friend feel comfortable here. That's all. My friend? Yeah, you're transferring from the same area, right? What, what was her name? Nicole? Get out of my face. What? Get out of my face or I'll make you. Okay, I'm going. Nice talk. But how? It's game over. Also, how did you know that? Know what? She's friends with the other transferee? I, uh, that's a good question. I think I, uh, that's strange. And maybe that's why I should take my nap now. Ooh. That's it. No more crushes ever. Wake up, sleepyhead. It's lunchtime. Don't you have some more air piano to play? Uh. Finally. Just how much sleep did you get? One measly hour? Make it two. You planning on beating Jun Jun this year? You slept through three glasses. What? Why didn't anyone wake me up? Well... We tried, but it was no use. <laughs> no one wanted to kiss you. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> you were out cold. So, yeah. Ooh. I wonder how this scene's gonna play out with the posters. What did the teachers say? They didn't want to kiss you either. Sorry. Am I kissing my grades goodbye? No, you're pretty lucky, man. No one gave a damn, at least for now. You caught them in good moods. Even Miss Ramirez? Yep. Good thing her last date went well. And Miss Flores? What are you talking about? Arts after lunch break. Speaking of, what'd you paint? Paint? You know, for our poster project? Oh no. Here we go again. Mark? Please tell me you're joking. Mark? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm totally joking. Oh, thank God. Why'd you think I stayed up so late? I had to think of something that isn't cliche. Mother Earth and everything. <laughs> what is that? I call this masterpiece Mother Earth Do Not Die. Obviously, I didn't know. I didn't want to go the, you know, the hands holding the world up route. Mother Earth? But isn't the theme world hunger? <laughs> oh, he keeps thinking back to the other timeline. Well, I mean, at least he has a poster. Kathy. How many minutes do I have left? Seven. How'd you even mess this up? I have no idea. But I have seven minutes to fix it. You're insane. Okay, let's see if I can do better this time. World hunger? I could have sworn... Never mind, I just have to think of something else. Aw, oh, dang it. I chose the wrong thing again. No, my beautiful paradise. Maybe it can be apocalyptic now. Oh, come on. My lunch, my lunch. Fries for lunch? I'm gonna paint something so avant garde and pretentious, it'll knock Floris' socks off. Whew, okay. Hey, watch it. I guess I got one. Sorry, it's an emergency. Aha, I got it. I'll just splash paint around, and just like that, I'm the next Pollock. Oh. I hate life. So do I. Target locked, baby. We're almost there. Uh-oh. What are you doing out here? Oh. It's Nicole. What was that? Hey, Mark. Hey. Billy. What's the last minute rush? Need any supplies? Marker pen, printing, Xerox. I don't. I did need something, but... Is that your new friend? Oh. Uh-oh. Monster? I don't need your hand. I have two and I can stand on my own. What? What was that? You felt that? I... Ow. Hey, you okay? No thanks to you. To be fair, you were blocking the halls. Right in the middle. Wow. Are we just ignoring the fact that you were plowing people over in the hall? I know. But sorry, you're in the wrong too. 
I'm in the wrong. How could you? I, I was so excited to, to start a new life here. I... I'm gonna try saying nothing this time. Oh. Both of you. Principal's office. Now. Dang, is this gonna go through the entire story again? Fortunately, we have extra uniforms for students. They're to be returned next week. You understand? Now you two think hard about your actions. I want you under I want you to understand the consequences of your misbehavior. Ew, terrifying. You will stay here until dismissal. The principal's on her way. Wait. Have I seen your face here before? Deja vu. You got deja vu too, huh? What? Nothing. Just sit and be good, okay? I don't want any more trouble from you. So, welcome to Liam's Integrated High. I mean, school. May I interest you in some candy? Hmm. Not candy, then. There's gotta be something around here that'll make her talk. Whoa, look at these. How to ask for help for teenagers. Wonder if, wonder if anyone ever read that. How to be kind. I can't, I can think of a few people who benefit from this one. Guess you're not into self-help books. Let's give her a taste of high-end coffee. That'll lift her spirits up. Hi, welcome to Starbonks. What can I get for you? You know, they've got a coffee maker with a grinder here. Top of the line gear. They've got Arabic beans too or whatever. Cream of the crop. You won't find this anywhere else. It's Arabica, you jerk. Hey, now we're talking. So you want a cup of Arabica? I'll take that as a yes. What? This is a travesty. I paid good tuition for this. Come on, you're disappointed too, right? Well, I'm going to write a very strongly worded letter to the board about this. No, is it broken? It all went downhill from there. Watch this. Useless but fun fact, our lavish principal has three cars. A pickup. A sedan. And an SUV. You might ask, why are they all at the school at the same time? Who knows? My guess is she just likes to show them off. Well, you quit it already? I'm trying to think. Hey, there we go. Thinking about what? About what? Okay. I lost her. The sleepy principal's son is next. I love it. I've tried everything now. Forget it. This is useless. Oh, that's just her office back there.
Yeah. It's my only option. I give up. Nothing could make you talk besides stupid cars and Arabic beans. Two thousand nine hundred ninety five, two thousand nine hundred ninety six, two thousand nine hundred ninety eight, two thousand nine hundred ninety nine, three thousand. <laughs> oh, it's so awkward to sit in silence that long. Wow. Would you look at the time? We have a thrilling three hours left of sitting here doing nothing. Except, you know, socialize like humans do. If we would just all cooperate. You don't deserve my cooperation. Finally, thank God. After all I've done to cheer you up. Oh, I'm sorry, after what you have done? To cheer me up from what, exactly? Um, from the unfortunate accident that harmed us both equally? Equally? And whose fault was it? I told you, you were literally taking up half the hallway. Even worse, right in the center. And you were running. Read the handbook, section 7.4. I'm surprised a novice like me knows more than a veteran. Whoa. Look who's so gung-ho about transferring. She knows the handbook like the back of her hand. Why, thank you. That's what the back of my hand is for. The front is for you, you know. Dealing with you, just in case. If you didn't know, normal people would do their business at the side to make way for others. But I guess some people simply aren't part of the population. Sir, have you ever heard of speed limits? I think someone here could take a page from traffic etiquette. Getting this show on the road, huh? Well, ever heard of middle lane hogging? Go ahead, take a page. Oh my, get this show on the road. Did you just use an idiom literally? How cheesy. Actually, that was a double entendre. I use the idiom both literally and as intended. Too bad my ingenuity went over your head. I wish ingenuity were an antonym for genius right now. Running out of fuel? Because that was lame. Admit it. Your car has crashed. Is it my fault your car crashed into mine? I... Look who's run out of fuel now. You're the one that can't catch up. Oh. He's definitely scrambling now. Alright, that's... Oh. Um... I'll talk to you later. Good afternoon, um... Mrs. Chavez. Good, good day, Mrs. Chavez. Looking fancy today. How are we doing? Of course, it's you again. Is this the first time you've brought someone else with you? I believe so. Oh. Strange. I sincerely apologize for the trouble. I hope we can resolve this without issue. Whatever. I'm in a hurry. Come on, follow me. Okay, let's begin. Mrs. Legaspi has told me everything. I have to say, what you've committed is one serious offense. Serious indeed. But it's his fault. Hold your, hold your horses, miss. You'll get a chance to speak later. Understood. I'm sorry. So you can be nice after all. Only to people who deserve it. This is quite enough. Yeah, that's quite enough, miss. Ugh. He was blazing through the hallway without a care in the world. Mister, no running in the halls. 
We have made that clear in the handbook, didn't we? <laughs> you guys did make it clear. Props to you for that. Four thumbs up. But little Missy here was walking the middle of the hallway. What the few what the full easel? Oh miss. I'm sorry, but you can't do that. You should have known to give way, right? <laughs> no, but look, isn't it clear who should be held accountable? Clear as day. If he weren't running in the first place, none of this would have happened. Same outcome if she weren't blocking the hallway. Plus, you wouldn't have annoyed a bunch of your schoolmates. Pretty sure you annoyed a bunch of them along the way, too. You just don't want to admit it. Silence. I've had enough of you two. I'm calling your parents now. No, please. I just transferred here. They'd be so... No. Please don't. Don't look at me like that, Mark. You surprise me. Mark? Well then, if you don't want me to call your parents, for the love of everything good and holy, just make up with each other. What? How? Figure it out or I'll call your parents now. I've got a mall-wide sale to catch, so make it quick. Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll cover everything. I'll pay for the repainting of the walls and flooring. That's good. I'll get you a cool gift too. Because I love this school and I love you. You don't have to, but okay. It's, what the heck? And lastly, I'll help little Missy here redo her art poster. Which I obliterated to bits. That sounds like a good plan then. It covers everything we'd, ever, we'd otherwise worry about. But Mark, I've been hearing about your grades. Remember, you can't make up for that in any way. You have to study harder if you want to stay here. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna miss you guys if I leave. So, miss, how does Mark's plan sound to you? Uh... I can take it, I guess. Hmm, this is my warning. Mark, please don't run in the halls. Miss, please don't block them. Do you two understand? Understood, Mrs. Chavez. It won't happen again. Yepperino. Meeting is adjourned. Be safe on the way home. Nice. So, uh, that happened. You got away with it just like that? Just like that. Cool, eh? For the record, since you still ruined my first day, I'm totally not forgiving you. Um, let's go with cool. Not yet, that is. They never bothered to ask your name. So, what is it? As much as I hate to introduce myself to you, I'm Nicole Laksamana. And you're... Mark Borgia? Uh... Ah. Uh, so, what are we gonna do? Ooh, that was a key... A key moment. She's like, wait, you tie about me? Could have used a little help back there. You carried all of that, Mark? For me? Aw. You forced me to. Oh, you. You're such a gentleman. Not a lot of gentlemen these days, you know. What's even all this for? I thought we were just gonna buy art supplies. I do really need all these hangers. Duh. Where else am I going to hang the new clothes I just bought? Why do you even have new clothes? Have you been wearing the same outfit every day? That's right. Don't tell anyone. 
but I'm a recording 90s cartoon character. <laughs> Not aww. And seriously, what do you need all this bleach for? For cleaning up the blood? Let's just get this over with. Wait, okay, so I'm gonna blow out my candle real quick. Okay, I'm back. Man, these pumpkin candles smell so good, but sometimes if I leave them on too long, I get sleepy. Gonna stop that. Okay. What's taking you so long to open that door? You're nagging. Welcome to our humble abode. Our new humble abode. So that's why. We just moved in a few days ago. Still needs work, I know. Uh... Is no one else home? My parents are sleeping, so you better keep it down. And your siblings? Well, I wish I had one. It's a hassle-free life, I'd say. No trouble, no drama, no petty arguing. Did I ask for your opinion? <laughs> I'm gonna get changed. Stay right here, and don't touch anything. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna touch everything. Do you touch everything. Got it. Um. Oh, there's her friend. Of course, good old pirated DVDs. Let's go. Let's see what they got. Intergalactic. Astronaut Connor sets off in space to find a new home when Earth becomes uninhabitable. What he finds instead is love. Normal activity. A couple moves into a new suburban home, setting up cameras to monitor what happens in the house. They have a lovely time. Stop, drop, and roll 12. The fact that our franchise has 11 sequels is truly astounding. Boom, boom, pack. The final amazing wow. Wait, wow or pow? <laughs> Starring 69 local artists all mashed up into one star-studded film. That's it. Don't even ask about the pilot. He's dating the nerd. Huh. I was expecting something juicier. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's it. Wait, dang it, I don't want candy. Yeah. 
Okay. No, cute. Uh oh. Oops. Center of mass isn't working today. God needs to fix that ASAP. All right, cool. I just wanted to check something real quick. See, we're going to find the piano. Hmm. Wait. That boy. He looks familiar. What are you looking at? Nothing. I mean, uh, is that you as a kid? So? She's cute. Now she's not. Heh. <laughs> and, uh, who's that boy? Might that be your secret br- Nope. I'm the only child. Look, don't go snooping around here. We're strangers after we're done with this. You got that, mister? That's a relief. Anyway, we're painting here, right? Obviously. Where would you want to work? The kitchen? I detest your sarcasm. Let's just start, shall we? Do I even think of getting any paint on my furniture? Floor is fine, then. Ha. Go ahead. You start. That's an efficient, don't you think? How about we just paint together? I want to see your potential. Heck, you might even inspire me. All I'm hearing is, I want to boss you around, coated in sugar. Ha, huh, no really. Let's see what you got. Prepare to be amazed. This is a master at work. What are we drawing? Uh, what are you doing? Painting? In black? What's wrong with that? I don't know, just... Does World of Hunger really scream colorful to you? I guess not. But what are you painting? It looks like nonsense. Hey, watch your words. This is avant-garde at its peak. And if you know, our teacher... Well, she gets off on weird art. <sighs> Exploiting her pretentious taste with pretentiousness. Hmm, I see. I had that epiphany while I was running my ass off in the halls. I never thought to ask... Why were you running in the first place? Funny story, actually. I took time making a painting, but I got the theme all wrong. I made a promise for Mother Earth. What? How did you mess up that bad? No idea. I just remembered it wrong. That's been happening a lot lately. Must be your habit of crashing into people causing brain failure. 
Hey, that was a new experience for me, too. Really? There was nothing familiar about it. All the time. Do you think I just barrel into people for fun? I mean, maybe. What is this supposed to be? I... I don't get it. Ah, yes. A beautiful representation of the loss and devastation caused by world hunger. I can already see Flores' eyes sparkling. Hold on. I don't get it. Why do you live like this? Huh? Shut up. I need to concentrate. I'm channeling my inner Rothko. I mean... Uh... I mean, are these even ups any upsides? Ask her classmate Kyle. He crams way more than I do. He is a true expert. Hmm. You know what? I suggest that you... Oh wait, that could definitely use more effort. I suggest not spending my precious effort on this. Could also use more color. You know what I mean. The color of hunger's black. Sure. We can paint some hope in there. Right? I could, but why would why would I? I mean, are you seriously okay with this? Settling for this this Rothkiko ripoff? Look, all I need to do is get the job done with the least possible effort. It's, but do you even find enjoyment in it? Hmm. Of course I do. I enjoy passing art class. Hey. Watch. I'll show you how it's done. Oh, great. Someone's doing the hard, the dirty work for me. Thank you so much. Hey. Look at me. Fine, fine. You can still turn this pitiful artwork to a lively one. Just you wait and see. A dash of green, a splash of red, a drop of blue. Do you see it? It's coming together now. Whoa. It's much better now, right? I don't like saying this to your face, but it is. You see, Mark, I just enjoy the things I do. And whenever I feel that enjoyment, everything else naturally shines. You just have to... Find that spark. Huh. You knew all along. It's like, I feel like I've been through this before. Getting there. Are you done? Just a little bit more. Hey, that's enough. You've already helped. And done. Aww. So, what do you think? Why the long face now? 
Don't get me wrong, it's nice and all, but... Hmm. Oh man, which one do I pick? I think I... I'm pretty sure I picked It's Not Mine before. The other one just sounds way too aggressive. Like, I wanted to show loss. Oh, man, so I'd be a short stream. Like, I haven't really slept that well all this week, and I feel definitely more tired than usual, but I wanted to play a little bit of this this week, especially with the spoopy, spoopy months coming up. I also got to plan what games I want to play through, um, because the past few years I've been doing two spooky months. Um, in honor of Stick's mom that passed away a couple years ago. Um, so that's like one of the ways I am paying homage to her is to play scary games. As, I, as you know me, I usually, I, that's not usually my realm to explore. But it's a time, it's a time of year, so there's something special. So I need to, um, get some suggestions down because i also have some games from last year that i still need to finish like mad father i wanted to do get all of the endings in there um so yeah if, if anyone has some scary game recommendations you can throw them in my suggestions channel and i can take a look at them um but yeah, I might wrap up some stuff I started last year. I want to play some of the more of the Chilla's Arts games. Um, like, I played Parish, Parish Social from them last year, which was really cool. Because it was all um, based around you being a VTuber and, like, your identity being, like, exposing what you look like. Um, I think I might also get into the second... A Plague Tale game too because we played the first one last year um, but yeah we shall see what we have in store this year um, I think I chose It's Not Mine last time so I'm going to go for the other one I really wanted to illustrate loss loss? world hunger? I don't get the connection. I don't know. I don't really see these things in this in this positive light, I guess. But I mean, isn't a little hope nice? Hey, it's mine. Plus, my work shouldn't look that good. Flores knows that. Then just switch it up. She won't catch it. Even if I do, it doesn't feel like it's mine. Sprinkle your personal finesse on that then on it. Add your own touch. That's not gonna work. Wait a minute. I know what it's missing. It's not missing anything. I'll make the hearts bigger. Maybe even cuter. Go ahead. It's yours after all. To be clear, this is yours and that is mine. Just give me a moment to perfect this. Better now. Look. Awesome. It deserves to be yours. No, you deserve this. Hold on, I'll give it more hearts. <laughs> so can I change? Aw. Uh, can't change the color. What about the... Uh, uh, you're right. This is mine. Don't mention it. It really is a good painting. Thanks. I wonder, what's living here like? Brace yourself. Everything is unique here at Liamson. 
We've got Ferris wheels and cemetery DJs for All Souls Day. Quite a culture shocker. I wish that were the case, but I was as asking nicely. I'm serious, actually. Sure, but that's not really what I meant. Same old, same old. You're still at the dreary heart of the capital. Do you have siblings? Nope. We're both only children. And you think it's hassle-free? I thought you didn't want my opinion. And your parents? What do they do for a living? Come on. What do they do? Tell me. They work abroad, that's all. Besides, aren't we strangers after this? Uh, I'll, I'll forget about it. Rothko, look at this. You must be so proud of me right now. So they're both goddesses. What do they do? Oh boy, would you look at that. The sun's setting. Guess I should be going now. Is your dad like an engineer or something? He repairs sentient fridges, yeah. Hey, where's the bathroom? A rogue fridge tore it apart yesterday. Oh, hard luck. Oof. You're not getting sucked in, snub. Hmm. Oh, man. I wonder what's in that room. Do do do, let's see. Piano. Debussy. Can't believe it. Oh yeah, she did win a lot of rewards. has a lot of rewards. Uh-oh. He's gone. Well, those trophies are hers. Alright, time to get kicked out. She's a pianist? Oh boy, a child prodigy even? It's a song. Oh. Oh, geez, that scared me. <laughs> what the hell? I didn't know you could play. Is this some sick prank? How do you know that piece? What? I am... Never mind. Get out of my house. Now. But I'm... Honey. Why'd you stop? We heard you playing and... Oh. Just leave me alone. <laughs> what an introduction. Mm 
Mr. and Mrs. Laxamana. I'm sorry. What happened, young man? I saw a piano, so I played a little. I didn't mean to. It's getting late. Why don't you stay for dinner so we can talk? Thank you, but I don't want to intrude anymore. We were just supposed to work on our posters and... Nonsense. We'd like to get to know our daughter's first friend here. We insist. Have some more rice, young man. You're a growing boy. What's your name, son? Thank you, ma'am. I'm Mark. I'm a student from Liz, too. How do you know our Nicole? Are you classmates? Uh, well, literally ran into each other. Uh, let's just say we ran into each other. Technically not untrue. I see. If you don't mind, Mark, how do you know the piece you played earlier? Well, uh... It's... My mom used to play it, I think. Your mom? Would we know your mom? Uh... Not likely. She's... It's complicated. No, not the sad song. She... She's mostly self-taught, I suppose. She learned a lot from watching and listening to, the other, to others. I can only guess she heard this from someone else. Did she go to a lot of recitals or competitions, dear? Yeah. So, that's how it is. Your mother probably heard Nicole playing that once. You see, she wrote that piece. Oh, no, really? That's... I can't believe it. It's so beautiful. She wrote it herself? That's our daughter for you. It sure is some coincidence. Maybe it's destiny. Uh, I don't know about that. Your mom learned it by ear, and she taught you? Uh, not exactly. Mom taught me a little bit, but I'm still learning. I've been trying to remember how it sounded. How touching. You must have really been moved by the piece. Yeah, it really struck a chord with my mom, too. It's harder now that she's away. Playing the piano is harder, I mean. Away? Oh, abroad, I mean. Maybe our Nicole can help you. Oh, that'd be lovely. Maybe she'll rekindle her, lo her love for it. That would be awesome. But I doubt Nicole would agree. Wow, wow. Don't you worry about Nicole. I'm sure she was just shocked. Yeah, but why was she mad? Listen, Mark. Nicole's been through a lot. Oh, And she's also dealing with moving into a new life. Hmm, Mark. The truth is that we had to move here because of our hometown was hit by the building. I mean, wait. I can I know I read that wrong, but I don't know what it actually said. Oh no. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm a little low energy. Uh I should have started earlier. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I think she said something related to the reaping. That must have been... Yeah. Don't worry yourself, boy. We're doing a lot better now. But Nicole wants to leave that all in the past. So we'd like to ask you to keep it between us, okay? Oh yeah, of course. Thank you, Mark. Now, please have some of my dessert. If you refuse, you'll be hurting my feelings. Ooh, dessert. Oh, 
Well, it's the place. I can see why he chose it. Oh, this is new. The lighting here is good, huh? Right? I figured it could be a great place for the film. Maybe it'll it'll at least get some ideas going. Got anything in mind for us? Nothing concrete yet. These are just test shots anyway. So you mean I'm not actually your star? Let's flex your acting chops first. Hmm. Fine. But once you see how good I am, I want an air-conditioned trailer with a GS4. Yeah, yeah. Kath, would you stop disturbing the plants? We're starting. But they're so shy and cute. They fold inwards when you touch them. They do not like you. Oh ho ho, if it isn't Mr. Suave in the flesh. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on, what happened to the new girl? Do you sweep her off her feet? Sure did, literally. And then what? I didn't hear from you all day yesterday. We had to remake our posters together, so we went to her house. Her house? Dang, you move fast. Yeah, and I think she wants to kill me. Wow, another girl hates you already? That's gotta be a record. You have to admit, it's kind of impressive. It was weird, though. I don't know. A lot of weird things happened. What kind of weird things? It's... Hmm, it's a long story. I'll explain later. Suit yourself. Are you two ready to shoot? You better tell us you better tell us everything. For now, I'm ready to be a star. Yeah, yeah. What are we doing today? Nothing crazy. I thought we could just wing it today to get ideas flowing. I'll give you some decorations, but you can do your thing. Sounds fun. You better get my good side. I want to get a shot of the sun coming in through the trees here. We can play with shadows, silhouettes. Alright. Hmm, Mark? You're totally... Wait, you're talking to a friend you haven't seen in a long time. Got it? Just do your thing. Ready? Action. Oh, good heavens, Catherine. Is that you, pray tell? Marcus, how absolutely lovely to see you. Our chance encounter must have been blessed by the gods. Indubitably. What a momentous occasion. Truly, we must celebrate with the dance of the ducks. Well, Catherine, why, Catherine? You surely have the sickest of moves. <laughs> My deepest gratitude, Marcus. I have spent many a day practicing. I admire your dedication. Hon, hon, hon. We're French now? Yeah, come on. Keep it up. <laughs> I'm begging you both to take this a little more seriously. Sorry, director. I think we were... Our, um, we were quite professional, actually. Sure. Just try not to exaggerate any actions or anything. You need to be pretty subtle for the camera. So... Um, so much for just doing your thing. We're not exactly professional actors. Hmm. I was born for this role. 
We'll do our best, Mia. Just don't blame us if it isn't Academy of Words material. Thank you. Alright, please you... Wait, please lose the accents. Ooh. I am losing in my opinion. Everyone's a critic. Come on, places. Ready for take two? Am I going to be able to hold all of this? There's no way. Born ready. Three, two, one. Action. Kathy, is that you? Mark, how long has it been? Two years now? Two years and three months. Whoa. I didn't expect you to count. Yeah, well, I thought I'd never see you again. Good, good. Could you show a little more emotion? I want to see how the lights, light catches on your um, expressions. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave you. But you did. You were gone. But I'm here now, aren't I? Are you really? Ooh, that's a good twist. Kathy, play along. What do you mean? You can see me, can't you? You can hear me? I can, but you can't be here. Oh, I think now he's starting to realize now. Oh, wake up. I want to go at least until 11. Not anymore. Mark? I... I'll always be here for you. You know that, right? Stop lying. You can't be real. You aren't... I don't... I just want you here. I just want you here. And cut! Whoa, Mark. I might actually just cast you after that performance. Oh boy, I had to keep up. You almost got me crying, man. Mark? Are you... okay? I have something I want to tell you guys. Uh, okay. It's about mom. Oh, he's telling them way early this time. So I wonder if she is gonna open up more now. Oh, I just noticed her legs. Oh wait, never mind. I think that's just the Yeah, that's the shadow. I thought it was showing her bruises. Oh. But yeah, I wonder if she'll open up sooner this time. Since he just did. Mark, we had no idea. Yeah. I'm really sorry I didn't tell you guys. I just... I didn't want to admit it. It 
Makes it feel more real. Dude, it's okay. Really. I'm sorry this happened at all, man. Yeah, that sucks. Is that why you want to play the piano? Yeah, I see. I hope it works out. I really do. I... I don't know. Aww. It's not gonna bring her back. It's not really like... Like it's gonna bring her back. But at least you can feel close to her, right? I guess so. Alright, come on. Mark, we're gonna help you with the piano. You are? And Rydell, we're gonna keep helping with this film. Right now? Life can be shitty. All we can do is do our best to make it less shitty, right? Right. We're here for you, Mark. Let's do this together, alright? Alright, alright. Amen. Are you sure- are you sure you still want me in the film, though? If you still want to be in it. Well, as much as I'd like to take credit for that performance, I wasn't really acting. Luckily for you, I can keep up. Yeah, Kath. You might just be a natural. Okay, guys. Let's try something else. Ready? Three, two, one. Action! Oh, dang, we're already on chapter three? Oh, okay, this is completely new now. Since, like, Rydell is more in involved. Let's see, how far up can I go? Oh, okay. Hey man, we on for tomorrow? Yeah, the place shouldn't be too busy. You know how to get there? Yep. Alright, thanks again for coming with me. Of course, man, I might even get a new profile photo out of it. I knew you had ulterior motives. He he he. Called it. Okay. I'm here now. This is a cute area. Oh! <clears throat> oh my god, I don't know what my voice just did. <laughs> I got stuck. Oh crap, I'll be there in a bit. No rush, I bet this will look great on camera. Nice. It really is a hidden gem. Ooh. Uh, can I not get coffee? Or anything? Man. A laser pointing to an open box. No, kid. That won't burn it. I was... wonder why that's there. Ooh. Dang, is that the whole town down there? Hmm. Yep. We are on a mountain, pretty much. 
Oh boy, Luisa's here. Uh, I should probably say hi. Oh yeah, and at this point, should she have met Mark? I mean, not Mark, um, Mike by now? I wonder if that's going to be different in this timeline too, because I don't think we've um, run across him yet. Hey, Louisa. Oh, Mark. Fancy running into you here. May I join you for a bit? What for? Uh, I just want to chat for a bit. Is that okay? Hmm. So, uh, what are you working on? Research. About what? I am rather busy at the moment. Oh. Sorry. I'm also sorry about the report. Again. Is that all? Uh... And I am also sorry about the commotion yesterday. And things in general. I am sorry in general. I'm your class president, Mark. I'm sure I don't have to remind you that your actions are representative of our, our class. I understand. It feels like I've given you too many chances already. This behavior cannot continue. Hey, Mark. There you are. With Rydell. Uh, this is Louisa. Louisa Rydell. Nice to meet you. Good afternoon. So, uh, what brings you here? Research. I see. Is it going well? It's going. Oh my. I did not call for you. That's great. The place is really nice, man. Yeah, it's almost romantic. Huh? It's in the air. I'm just saying, you're probably going to get great shots of this place. Yeah, I'm getting inspired already. I might take some test shots over there for a bit. You know, give you guys some time. Mark was just in the middle of another apology for his misconduct. Huh. Okay. I'll leave you guys to it then. Good luck, man. No, don't leave me. Uh, anyway. I really am sorry, Louisa. I don't mean to cause you any trouble. I've been selfish. Apologies only do so much. How'd you make it up to the poor transfer student you terrorized? We worked something out with the principal. But, Louisa, about that. Something strange happened. Yeah, crashing into someone on their first day is quite strange. No, I mean... You remember what we talked about? With Polly? It happened again. Or something like it. I just felt something. What was it? I saw something. It was a truck. And then... When I first saw her... I mean, Nicole, it felt like, hold on, start from the beginning. Hmm. 
Oh dang, they stay there for a while. Ooh, sunset looks pretty. Sorry to suddenly dump all that on you. It's a lot of information to process at once. But I thought you might be interested. These memories, what could they mean? You think it's something big? How's it connected? Connected to what? Hmm. Oh, walked away. Oh man, dang it. Next time there's a save, I'm probably gonna wrap it up. It's still happening. A laser working fine? No, it's not the laser. It's the pattern. It shouldn't look like that. Uh, wait, why is it split? Oh, duh, there's a piece of string probably keeping it closed. So you have a strand of string on the laser. So here. It blocks the light in the middle. Looks good to me. No. It's supposed to look like this. Whoa, what? Bands of light spread across horizontally. That doesn't seem right to me. It does seem counterintuitive, I get that. But why is it like that anyway? Well, do you actually want me to explain? Hmm, maybe not. I'll just take your word for it. Now, do you see what's wrong? It's not the pattern you're expecting. It's not a pattern that should even be possible in the first place. I see. What's worse is that I've only observed this here. At home, school, elsewhere, the pattern's normal. So, it only happens here? That's hard to say, but it's certainly the only place I know of. I wonder... Why this place? I'm not sure. It's otherwise entirely normal, as far as I know. pH levels are okay. Precipitation standard... Do you get the sense that something bad is happening? I try not to jump to conclusions without evidence. So this isn't evidence? It isn't conclusive evidence? Right. Something just doesn't feel right lately. Ooh, wait, I'm gonna write that down real quick. That might be the name for next stream of this. Um, there. Save that for later. Dooby dooby doo. Shoe up. Okay. I agree. This all seems rather beyond our comprehension at the moment. Hey, we should be careful with this research thing, okay? I just hope it's nothing bad. Sorry, we? Uh, yeah. I want to get to the bottom of this. Two. Well, I won't stop you. Good. Friends? I wouldn't say that. Partners. 
Wait. I didn't mean it like that. Stop talking. Yep. <laughs> Don't think this absolves you of your previous transgressions. Of course. I'll do my best to make it up to you. Hey, uh, man. Sorry to interrupt this thing. But it's about time to head out, I think. Oh, dang. I didn't notice. Of course you wouldn't. Hey, wait, Rydell. What do you know about this place? What do you mean? It's known for good looking... I mean, for looking good on camera. I know that much. But what else do you know about it? Would you know anything about its history or origins? Well, this modest cafe, cafe, I know it's run by a couple. They just wanted a peaceful place near the outskirts of the city. Like a getaway. A getaway. That's one word for it. But it became more like a refuge. A refuge? Since it's out here, a lot of ruling victims, they try to take this route into the city for evacuation. That is quite the journey. The main roads were destroyed, and the couple, they helped out as much as they can. Offered food, water, a place to nap, right at this cafe. That's really kind of them. So that's how this place became popular. People came to help out. That's right. It's a lot less busy now and fancier since they're starting to open up the main roads. That's a good thing, right? The victims are safer. I don't know if safer is the right word for it. Listen, we really have to go. Going to the fair? Yep. Did Mark mention it? Oh. No, I just assumed. Oh gosh, he's acting. Um. It's like, come on, live a little. You want to come with us? Me? Yeah, it should be fun. The fair is a classic. Thank you, but I'd rather continue my research tonight. I admire the dedication. Mark, I'm forming a hypothesis. You'll hear from me soon. Wow. Looking forward to it, Louisa. Good luck. Uh, aren't you gonna at least, you know... What? Never mind. Kath is waiting. I know, I know. Hmm. Oh, it's a carnival. Man. I might have to end here because I am... Oh... Uh, I'm so tired. I don't want to like. I feel like I'm. I've been nodding a little, and I don't want. <laughs> oh, I don't want to keep doing that. This might be a good place to stop too. Uh, um. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Do do do. Oh, hey, Jar Maid. Yeah, I'm. I'm definitely sleepy. God, this music is so loud. Um, let's see where I can send you guys real quick. Don't want to leave you hanging.
do 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 oh okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you guys to Mia Mia Mara she's playing some more fields of mysteria that's something I've been playing a lot of too um, and I'm probably gonna be playing more of that tomorrow um, cause yeah, I've been really enjoying that game so far. Plus I want to play as much as I can now because yeah, I did not realize October is next week. So like I said earlier, I'm going to have to start playing spooky games to play soon. Um, so, oh wait, shoot. I always forget to do this. Uh... So yeah, I'm gonna send you guys on over there for the rest of the night. Um, sorry again, it was kind of it was definitely a shorter stream than usual from me, but yeah, I just don't wanna push myself. Gotta start taking better care of myself. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, don't worry, you'll see me tomorrow. Um, you'll know when I go live if you follow my Discord and Twitter. But yeah, until then, I hope you all. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.